<laughs> it's in, and there's actually room to spare. Now admit it, some of you guys didn't think that big old Hemi was going to fit in this engine compartment. Now it is tight, and I still have to finish up my motor mounts, but as you can see, this is going to be a nice setup. Now so far on this project, we've covered the drivetrain, front suspension, the brakes, the exhaust. Now we need to do something about the interior, because even if we wanted to keep it totally stock, because of the changes we've made under the hood, that's going to dictate some changes inside. So the first thing we need to do is get rid of this stock steering column. Fortunately, I did it has brand new direct replacement steering columns for most muscle cars. Check this out. Now this is one of their chrome tilt units. Got the turn signals and the emergency flashers and the tilt unit all where it should be. Got a new key, but notice we don't have the shifter on here because we wanted to clean it up from that original column. Now all the I did it columns come with all the wiring hookups and the adapters, all the bracketry you're going to need to literally bolt this in place of that stock unit. Now, while we have the column out, we need to deal with the gauges. Come on. Now, the original instrument cluster is not only boring, it's not very accurate, and it would be really nice if it had an oil pressure gauge and a tack in there somewhere, too. Fortunately, there's a place called Classic Dash that makes instrument clusters for modern muscle cars. And as you'll see, this is the one for their Mopar. It's going to bolt right in place of that stock cluster and give you full instrumentation. Now the gauges that we're using here come from Classic Instruments. This is their American Tradition series because that's just a great looking gauge with the chrome bezels and the little wings in there. Now another cool thing about this bezel over here is you can mount your windshield wipers, your lights, and all of your air conditioning controls so you're good to go there. However, you will lose that stock radio. <laughs> now when it comes to seats, that's another issue on a project. Now if we were just going to cruise this car around, we just leave this stock seat in there, reupholster it, and be good to go. But a bent seat is not going to get it on a drag strip or a road course. So we're going to have to put buckets in here. The solution to that problem comes from SCAT Enterprises in what they call the Pro Car Rally Seat. Now this is a fully adjustable, modern bucket seat. It's got pronounced bolsters here on the sides and on the bottom to hold you in the seat under hard cornering. But as you can see, it still has that classic muscle car look, so it's going to fit the car real well. We got them in tan, so they match the interior. Now, since we're upgrading to bucket seats, pulled the shifter off of the column, we're going to have to have a shifter that goes right here. We got this from TCI Automotive. This is what they call the Street Fighter. This is a ratcheting shifter, so we'll be able to bang those gears as much as we want. Now, it comes with this pedestal, so you can mount it right there in the center, just like that you got the typical Saturday night special, and that is a great look. But if you want to go a step further than this, you can put a console in here, but you got to find the right console. And we did that when we went to Modern Classics. Now this is a fiberglass console called the Switchblade, and it'll fit pretty much anything. As you can see, it's got spot here to mount a stereo or extra gauges. You can mount your shifter there. You got cup holders, you got a pocket, you even got a little access panel, just like a modern console. You can paint this thing just like it is, or you can cover it with upholstery. But either way, look how nice this is going to look between these seats, especially if you take that shifter and mount it there, which is exactly what we're going to do. 